It's time to mix dogs and change sight. Or something. Why is there no random button? I just want a random button. Uh, oops. Not quite like that. Sure. Okay. I just want a random button, people. Okay then, back to work. Welcome to but oh hey there, Alma. Ooh. Ooh. I need to give her a drink. A certain drink. That secret drink. Um The problem with the secret drink, it's not listed, so I don't know its attributes. So it's almost guaranteed failure if I give it to them. Um I don't think that's a huge problem. I'll I think if I do this right, I'll only have to give two drinks. I'm not sure. I've heard the final, like, the true ending is, like, pretty hard to get, but, well. I want to see those events, and if the true ending is really important, I guess I'll try and do, like, I'll replay the game off screen and then try to just show the endings, I guess. It seems like it shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, she seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer up? Oh no. What cheers her up? Crap. Um, well, I need to give her the secret drink anyway, so you know what? I'm just gonna take this loss, because I don't actually know what to give her anyway. Um, so the secret drink, um, it's a Fibonacci sequence. So, wait, I didn't do that right, did I? It's the Fibonacci sequence um, of the ingredients. I don't think it's iced or mixed. But when you mix it, you get a Moai head! Hey. Huh? And this? It's on me. Drink. So at least change your expression. Oh, hey, it's free anyway. Why don't you say you're worried about me? Because I have the emotional intelligence of a four-year-old. You got the message anyway, didn't you? Okay, I don't think I'm taking this as a loss. Well, it has alcohol and I'm in a bar, so... Good enough, I guess. I got you to speak. That's all I wanted. What, are you gonna jinx me or something? No, but you being down and silent is uncanny. You're making it sound like I'm some sort of windbag. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Thanks. Your neck. Look at that neck. First there was thick, now there's neck. Alright. So, um, oh crap. Um, the other drink, I have to give one drink to Alma and one to Stella, and one you can just give to anybody. So we've got, we've completed two out of the three conditions already. So why are you deflating? Deflating? When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would warn me that I started deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. <laughs> what is it? Was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the false <laughs> rabbit boom? <laughs> That's creepy, not depressing. Nah, that is old news. That is old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, what's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off my stored steam. Uh, silly Alma, tricks are for kids. I've been feeling like utter shit for the last couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. So I can't remember what the heck voice to do with her. I guess I could do the stuck up voice I did for the last one. Okay, so remember my sister Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way around or something? Perfect summary. I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story though. More specifically, she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh, slightly different. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. I mean that. She never thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects the guy to do all that for her. Why, why is everything relationship bullshit? I didn't... I never asked for this. I'm gonna go drink with Jamie now. Neither of us asked for our cruel fates. I have no idea why she turned out like that. My mom and dad were hard workers. Oh, this is family person? Wait, what was her name? Oh yeah, Diana. 
They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh. So, what does this fully capable woman do a couple of weeks later? Why, bring your abusive husband back, of course. What? Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot steamy nights and then left. Uh, well... Huh, you reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. The story doesn't end there, oh no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a plus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her ass, just get money. It's up to me to pick her up. After the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. Come being such sweet angels, they've made a mess of the whole place. I hate kids. Fernando and Eva are actually staying with me a couple of days to give them some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. So we're in the car and she asks how our kids are. Of course, after the built-up tension, I just exploded. First, after writing about how our kids are growing up seeing some mess up stuff, I started scolding about not taking responsibility and taking proper care of her children. I tell her she has no place to have all those escapades, and after all that, she just says, what the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. Ah oh, yes, kids definitely force you to sleep around. Yeah, you slutty skunk. I don't have kids. But but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I have. I don't have kids, but I'm leaving the, not letting the guy hit, hit me on a regular basis back to my bed. Same, you know, refrain. But I pretty much raised Eva and Bernando, and they turned out pretty damn well. I don't have any kids, but I'm the cheaper! <laughs> Sorry, I can't yell in that voice. I like this localized sound wave we've got going on here. Ah! Yeah, I, ca I can't. I can't scream. My voice just breaks. Damn. It's a good thing we never have more than like one or two people in this bar at any time, or she might have actually caused a scene. What does Gillian even do all day? We obviously don't have extra customers that are like doing things. There's nothing to say. I love my family, I put them above all else, but Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. No way I could help. It just did. Eh. I know who I'm dealing with. I don't want to let out stuff like that to get to me. I'm just angry as hell though. I couldn't just discuss it with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. I just needed to get off all my chest and all. Well, from what I see, there's still a lot to get off your chest. Jill, this again. Nah, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. Didn't your family's busties you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. Uh. Kidding, kidding. Kidding, kidding. I guess the only one that didn't get the big boobs chain was Eva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her it's fine though she is. This could actually be more of a hustle than a blessing. Poor Bernardo. Her breasts actually began growing when he was high. I just hope I don't get too much mother from my mother's side of the family. My father's sisters all look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks quite quickly. Any good joints you got from your family, Joe? Get enough skin and hair, I guess. It's also a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had any problems with that. Ah, oh, shrimps are awesome, though. Oh, I see. Hey, you know what worries me the most about the whole Diana situation? How, how your nephews are turning out? If she leaves them with my mom, they'll turn out better than her, somehow. Actually, what worries me if... What if I end up like that total? If I find a good man and settle down, what if he turns out shitty? What if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and... Just let me live my life! And end up like that? What if I have kids and end up neglecting them because of all of that? Well, you don't need kids, so maybe just don't have kids if you don't think you want to have kids. I mean... Seriously, folks, the ultimate goal in life Unless you're, you know, a fucking troglodyte, is not to, you know, pair off and have kids. I'm sorry, there's other ways to live life. You do what you want to do. You don't let other people force you in to, you know, birthing some little goobers and spending all of your money and all of your time raising kids just so you can, you know, brag about it or make your parents shut up or whatever. Don't let other people's expectations push you around. You'll end up like, you know, Diana. Nobody wants to end up like that. If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indicative 
enough of the situation that you'll be fine. You think? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she pretty much married the guy right after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even. But those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you because you passed your irrational standards, hey, am I lying? No. But those are the things best kept unspoken truths. I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You know, the boob dialogue between these two, I mean, it's pretty bad in general, but I mean, let's say Jill is like a C, let's say, and Alma's maybe an F, I'd say. It's not like a ridiculous disparity, nor is Alma like crazy redonkulous big, and Jill isn't actually flat despite what several characters have said. It's just, it's not even funny either. Like. I don't mind boob jokes when they're actually funny. Like, I mean, I play a Sendo and Kagura. I'll admit that. Um, but I mean, you know, they've got some immature humor in that too. But, you know, jokes should be funny. <laughs> Your boobs are big. That's not really, it's not really a joke. Anyway, I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You will. The girls with the Yahogues always find the good guys. You'll know when the time comes. I sure hope so. Well, the time has to come... The time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? I have heard something with ice but alcoholic. Okay, ice but alcohol. Oh wow, I have zero help for that. Do it. Okay. Um, let's see if the piano. No, the piano things don't have ice, do they? Pretty sure anyway. Oh, oh, oh! Piano man. Excellent. Keep forgetting that the keyboard has any function in this game. One, two, three. This game is speedrun ready now, since you can do that. On rocks, mixed. Here is your thing. So I guess we lucked out on this. I've heard that the flaming moai head is considered classy. So you can give it to Stella when she asks for a classy drink. I'm not sure if I've passed that point. That was the hint I got. Um. I don't know how to credit the person who gave me that info. I um, their Steam name is Rando did nothing wrong. I believe that is a Lisa reference, um, and it's just as accurate as X did nothing wrong usually is. Um, so you said you felt shitty. You said you felt the last shitty the last couple of days. Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh come on, you hurt my problems. I want to help you too. Don't worry too much. Right, I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing me a mega Christmas party. Or throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. Wanna come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is gonna be a mess at my parents' home. So I'd rather avoid it. You guys getting chicken? I can get one. Chicken? No, it's ham. You get ham. I guess some people get turkey, but... Turkey is not worth the effort. Whew. Ham's easy enough. Um, to be honest, I don't know. You can bring it if you want, it won't go to waste. This game has some weird ideas about Christmas, or maybe it's just regional stuff. Say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like the legs the most. Or, that's me. Really? I like breasts better. Don't you even! Okay. False alarm. Breasts is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better texture. I only like legs better when it's, uh, you know, buffalo wing stuff. Simple is usually better. Breast is better, easier to enjoy than legs. A lot less messy. Mm hmm You silly girls. Boss? You're there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best parts of the wings. Mm, only with the proper sauce. I'm amazed there is no, you know, innuendo dialogue going on. Yes! Okay. Agreed. Spicy chicken wings. Where, would, where did you get spicy chicken wings? It's not hard to make spicy chicken wings from spicy chicken. You know, spicy chicken, the shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me phrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? These are the jokes you can't make in a game with like 3D models. Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? That's what I'm saying. Why are you not carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Because, eh, not as much. You're all right, Dana. Yo, Armitage. <laughs> Alma. I know what I said. Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? 
might need to heat it up. Ah, not for Mega Christmas. We get fresh stuff for Mega Christmas in this household, young lady. Pick your nose for that. Better be cooked otherwise. Uh, great, I expect you here Sunday at 8 p.m. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. Do you even... Is there even, like, a person just sits in an office all day at a bar? Like, what would you do? I guess I don't really know how bar work, but I mean, I don't know. Want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice, nice. We don't like, we don't like your mild types around here. Weird, maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why you left them here. She usually orders, she usually orders stronger stuff? Fun buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Aw, oh, that's the good stuff. When you just smell the bucket and your sinus is clear, mm, that's the good stuff. Uh oh Say, Jill, what's what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. Not too picky with guys to be honest. Just want them to be decent enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to hold a job. That's not good. Do you like the buff? What about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercing, I guess. Never liked either. But you. Yep. I'm not a fan of permanently body altering anything. I don't, like, strongly detest them, but I would certainly never do it myself, and I can't recommend it to anyone else, either. It's just like... Eh. I, I, I don't like anything you can't go back on, basically. I like a well-dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Boring and lame. Gross. Some muscle is always fine, too, but sharply dressed males catch my attention easier. Oh, you're so single. That's how I like my man. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. I see. So, can you give me a drink here? Spicy wings turned out to be spicy. What do I get you? Anything, as long as it helps with spiciness in my mouth. Strap my bra, Um. Let's get her a spicy drink! Okay, probably not. Um. Can I just give her one of these? What's the piano thing? That's our most expensive normal drink. This one's got ice, right? Sour promo strong. Yeah, let's just give her this, because it's expensive. I'm a good friend. Three. The rocks. Next. I just figure anything with ice should work. There you go. Oh, damn. No more spies. But I have other problems now. What? Alright, so next question. What kind of girls do you like? Ugh. <laughs> Those eyes. You first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no problems about saying a girl is cute or cold, but no, nope, I put more mine in my bed. Now you. Shit, just calm down. I guess I like girls with light colored hair. Light colored hair. Yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white? Like your boss. You were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? Sorry. Just once you got here with that bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. <laughs> Maybe I just want the wings! I'm thirsty for the spicy wings! Your whole behavior transformed, become giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. That's what wings make me feel, man! You can't... You can't deny the glory of a finely spiced wing, just perfectly sized to fit in your hand. Just... Just bite just half of that puppy off. One bite. Mm. Good stuff. Hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. Sigh. One day I will actually sigh instead of just reading sigh. So, light colored hair. What about blondes? You like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too, and I started hitting on you. Would you go along with it? <laughs> nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment. I wouldn't ever let you go. Ha ha ha. Okay then, enough tangents. Why don't you tell me you were feeling shitty these last days? What? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. I told you I want to know. Come on, Jill. You know, she doesn't really seem like the Ahoge type. Like, maybe... I don't know. Dana does. I don't know. Can't give anyone else. There's maybe Dorothy, but not, not you know, hacker girl. Come on, Joel. You've heard my problems many times. I want to help you. 
Come on. Come here. Eh? I told you to sit here. Come on. Eh? What? What are you? Oh, whoa. It's me! This is the first time we've seen Jill's sprite in-game. Outside of the thingies. Oh, yeah, and Jill has, like, mega complicated hair. I guess it's less complicated in this than it is in the other stuff. This is weird. I'm looking at myself. Some weird stuff going on here. Alrighty then, now I'm the bartender and you're the client. Hardly, the bartending station only works with me. I see. I see. Okay then, move this up! We just got Alice rabbited. Oh, it works for you and me and the dog in the Hawaiian shirt. You hacked my bar? Why him too? This is not how hacking works. He's a dog and a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Right, how do you even manage to? Yeah, the hacking doesn't quite that fast. Now we've changed roles. I've, you've been feeling shitty. I was kind of hoping that was like an evil, like hacky, like something not her, but that's kind of boring. I guess I should have expected that. You've been feeling shitty, mind telling me why? Well, it's a long story. I don't even know where to start. Let's start from the beginning. Okay then, something goes back to my college years. Well, it's taking it way back. Back in compulsory education, I never really made an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. I mean, if you don't, at least where I went, if you didn't, like, refuse to do shit, you pretty much always got an A in PE. They were, they were pretty chill. Though, um, I forget why, but I had to do, I had to run extra lap. I think it's just, if you miss PE, you have to run laps. I don't think it was, like... Punishment is just you had to make up your crap. Um, then of course, when I went to college, it started getting hard. Oh, that's me again. Then I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Burning my eyelashes studying events to get managed to keep up good grades. After about half the career, I met a student teacher. Her name was Lenore. She helped me a lot with my studies. She even got me into stuff. And gave me more credits. I really liked her, and after some time, I found she liked me too. Oh ho ho. We started going out, I met all of your family, and then... You want a drink? What? A drink? Around this time, you usually pause and offer your client a drink. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. <sighs> sugar Rush, then. Can't mess that up. Jill asked for Sugar Rush. Now, how did this brain work again? Sugar Rush. I'm gonna get her wasted. I'm gonna get myself wasted. I'm gonna get, wait, no. Uh, T. Here you go, me. Thanks. How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can mess up any drink by making 90% of it alcohol. Hmm. I have this gut feeling with your body, you'd make a better bartender than me. Aw, oh, you're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know. People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. I would. You've obviously never been to a cat bar, then. Yes, cat bar! I want a cat bar. Besides, my boobs are a hassle when trying to move around this kind of stuff. I, I don't... I kind of doubt that. Unless, like, the bar is way the hell up. So, I'll keep telling you a story. So, I, well... As the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. Last year and a half, it became nothing but study session after study session, investigating my thesis. Uh, the thesis is why I never went for the whole master's thing. Plus, your college education basically irrelevant after your first job. I mean, it depends on what you do. I mean, if you need a doctor, you need a doctor. But uh, I'm a programmer, and I mean, your job history is way more important than stupid grades a billion years ago. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech, and suddenly, while reading said speech, I also had a panic attack. Fair of public speaking. I realized I lost a whole year and a half of my life. I don't remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I can remember is studying, investigating new topics. I didn't enjoy doing all that, so I was just standing there in satisfaction of graduating. Graduation was minimal. Huh. I had kind of the opposite. Realized I'd only gone through the motions day after day from high school to graduating. I felt like the whole years of my life slipped through my fingers. Eh, 
It can feel like that, but I mean, if you get a good college education, get a good job, you're, you know, saving yourself years of grief, you know. You can retire earlier, ideally. Depends on how much money you make and stuff. But, uh, and getting a good job, you know. Working a bad job for, like, five years is worse than working a good job for 20. Ugh. But whatever. Never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. At that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It's terrifying as all hell. I needed all my strength to start running like a panic mess. Though I guess if you go like super hardcore on college, then you end up as a bartender. I mean, you know, not insulting college too much, but I mean, you don't need to study and get super triple A's. Triple A's. That's a new. That's a glitch. City grade. You got. You don't just get A's. You get triple A's. But uh, you don't really need that for, oops, you know, bar job. So do I get paid for the drink that Alma gave me? Or I guess she probably paid for me. I'm paying attention. I did it, I, I sighed instead of saying sigh. I'm not sure if you heard it, but I did. So a couple of months later, I got an offer to start working in this big research facility. Laura was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did for a year and a during that year and a half. What, did you only go to college a year and a half? Like, what? What is this year and a half? What if I had a sudden realization like that when I had a graduation? But when I turned forty, I didn't know what to do. Sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things evolved pretty quickly. She said. One too many things, I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house, broke a vase in the process. <laughs> After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry, I suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling shitty about that after all this time, though? Oh, you're gonna regret it even more. Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. I have. It's not just because of that. Ah. The other day, Lenore's sister, Gabrielle, came to this bar. Apparently, Lenore died last week. Localized nano nano machines. I can't, I can't be dramatic when you have nano machines. I'm sorry. Nano machines. Localized nano machine rejection. Heart attack. Apparently, she had it for a long time. Never told anyone. Incidentally, it got worse after I left. Just can't stop thinking about it. Wondering if me being there would have made a difference. If it's true she had that for a long time, why didn't she just tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel like all kinds of failure. Joel. To make it all worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yes, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all that, but she's just a kid for fuck's sake. She lost a sister and pretty much raised her on her own. To top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride? Fear? Stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her, for, to her forever. Truly forever. Such a piece of shit. Selfish piece of shit. I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect the story to be this high. Yep, you fucked up. <laughs> Boob tender. That, that's better than your other jokes. I'll, I'll allow this one. This one time. Yo, boob tender. Yeah. Can you get me a big beer here? Come on right up. Big beer, big beer. It makes up a beer big in this thing. Um. Oops. I keep pressing. I keep wanting to press the um, number keys instead of the uh, QWERTY keys. Mixed. Here's your beer. Big beer for Joe. Thanks. You need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. Do you drink lots of beer? One of the perks of the BTC is you liver, <laughs> liver implant. So I can drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. Ah, oh, that's why oh, I drank all those beers for nothing. But you got red in the face. I 
can't say I've ever really gotten red in the face from getting drunk. I guess I never look in the mirror too often after getting drunk, but I mean, I don't think so. Aww. Hey Joel, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm. Well, she was calm, smart. Back in college I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily. Stressed was my default state. So just like we're behaving right now. Wrecked! <laughs> you got wrecked. Shut up. I was wor I was worse. Can't picture that. <laughs> Don't. It's embarrassing. Anyway, she was always there. Finding a way to cool me down. She's also able to hold up conversations about pretty much any topic. One time I saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. Like sport video games? All that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She always puts me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. I'm not sure I agree. Lenore would always present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. <laughs> you can't... Oh my god, if somebody introduced me like that, I would, I would jump out the nearest window. Man, I'm gonna miss her. After a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but... She was such an awesome person, I just wanted to apologize. And now... You know, the cruel twist of irony, she's the one that made me pick up bartending. No? Back when I was thinking about what the hell to do with my life, I remember a night we spent in a club. We started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, the chemistry involved, the reactions and all that. Everything sounds so fascinating. I remember that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. You know, I actually, I got slightly interested in mixology with, um... Uh, the Drunken Moogle, they make a bunch of game gaming-themed drinks that, you know, pretty fancy and colorful. Um, I don't- I've never actually made anything too fancy like that. I usually just make, um, I got a margarita blender, so I just make margaritas, daiquiris, pretty much just that. Um, sometimes I'll have a glass of wine, but as far as mixing, that's mostly what I do. I, I haven't- it's been months since I've had a drink, but, uh, interesting stuff. You just need to not go overboard. I mostly stop because, I mean, it's a lot of calories and it's expensive and it's like... And I, I can't play games too well when I'm drunk, so I just decided, you know what? I'd rather be playing a video game. It's cheaper, it doesn't make me any fatter, and it, uh... You know, it's just what I'd rather do. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember it's... Oh yeah, we're she said, if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Ha, oh, interesting. Are you okay? There's some value of okay, yeah. It's just... I want to thank you, Alma. Thank me? I guess I just need someone to tell all of this to. And you were the one. You volunteered yourself. You insisted on listening to me. You stood there, listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person, but I'm not the most... Not one to spout love and fluffiness, but I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client. I really appreciate your friendship. At the very least, your patronage. I really enjoy working for you. Joel, are you dying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I sound weird. I When I laugh, I sort of lurch forward so I lurch away from the microphone, or else you will get way too loud laughing. Um. Jill, are you dying? <laughs> Shut up, I'm trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart here. Sorry, sorry. It's just, it's weird for you to get so sappy. <laughs> I just realized the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. Oh, this got dark again fast. It's a fucking hell, you know. I never, I mean never, want to go feel that way again. I don't want somebody to suddenly exit my life. Have my last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at any cost. Even if it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. If I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage, and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. I hate it. I hate it! <laughs> That's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat or the same. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know. Fine. It's almost closing time anyway. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey, 
Yeah. I mean, you know. Thanks for everything today. Silly Joe. You listen to my problems, I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'll be library now. Oh, before I forget. You ever talk about all this with your parents? Well, the basics. They haven't told them about Lenore's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to bother with my problems. Don't be silly. They're your parents. They live to share your problems. Just try having a talk with them sometime. They'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you on Sunday. Take care. The only girl surely is nice. Oh, boss, did you hear all that? No, not all of it, but a good chunk at the very least. The expression changed a lot already. It did. You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect a brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh yeah, boss. All those chicken wings. Fucking idiots and spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana, we don't have enough spices for your order tomorrow. <laughs> how do you run out of spices in a spicy chicken? Is that how they treat their regulars? Call it manager. Boss. No mistake, see? Cherish Titty Hacker, she's a good friend. Alright then. Jill's power didn't get cut. This gives her peace of mind, and now she'll focus at work for no problem. Yeah, I, I, I tend to get this feeling of peace of mind when my power isn't cut. I hear the next bill is going to be horrific. Bill paid. Did you have a boyfriend named Bill? I'm not gonna go and buy stuff. Actually, I don't know. If it seems like it, uh, I don't know. I'll just have to see, I'll just have to wait for the next bill to decide what to do with my money. I do know that I don't want to waste too much money, because I've heard it's a pain. Let's see what the meme lords are doing. Grand Slam Fighters. Is anyone into wrestling here? I've become a huge fan of GSF recently. It's a really solid product, AMO. Much better than the E. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave importance to the mid card. They still force an 866 American kid into the main event. Yeah, he's gonna face his suit at any time at the, at the Dome show. Why don't they push, push the great DK instead? He's much more talented than the 66. This American kid actually moves merch, unlike your indie darling. I want to marry you, Sook. Who's hyped up for the women's championship? That one should be the main event, not the turd we're getting instead. 66 is good, just, just watch some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 is better in Japan, but all I want to see is locks and arm bars. Nothing that impressive. Wrestling is fake. His thread is closed. Well, it, it, it ended on a high note. You already read this meme, right? Yeah, we already read that. What, what was her response? Amazing that I know all those words, yeah, I understand nothing. There, no, there weren't even, there wasn't even any technical, or there was mid-card. There wasn't even much jargon in that, bro. Whatever. Little I'm receiving serious messages. Update! Looks like we were able to record one, transcribe one of the messages from the, from the, from one of the compromised signals. Joe Ren, the anger from our popular TV newscast, serves our very own test subject for the investigation. Who are you? Are you really alive? <laughs> You're special to me. You're everything to me. It's time to become one. Oh, that's good. That's spooky or a made-up story. Developing. Nanomachines. Nanomachines have taken 80 lives this year. I wonder if she's among those 80. The Health Observatory just released their annual report on nanomachine rejection cases. The total number of reported cases have risen to 80 and increased in 65 cases last year. Nanomachine pollution is particularly strong this year due to the recent protests. At the observatory, protests caused the police force to release a new variety of nanomachines. The function is still unclear, but according to our sources, they're intended for crowd control purposes. It's unlikely we'll find a cure in the near future, and we can only hope... We can only hope cases like these will become rare in the more following years. Model Warrior Julianne returns this February. Is that a tear in your eye? <laughs> no. The classical magical girl show, Model Warrior Julianne, is coming back to public television this February after two years of... two decades of absence. I guess even in the future, you're not safe from remakes. Even though the show has been on 
every de on-demand service for a while now. Most of Glitch City's citizens need to think twice before sub subscribing to any non-essential service. Especially in the lower classes, who have a limited number of internet purchases for a year. What? The show's return is certainly welcome. You know, all these nanomachine protests are one thing, but limiting how many things you can buy on the internet? This world is truly disgusting. The show's return is certainly welcome. Today's parents will find be able to find share a piece of their childhood with their kids without risking dinner or breakfast. What? I I guess it's cheaper to, to to watch the public. Oh yeah, public television. Okay. I, sometimes I forget like public television is a thing. I haven't watched television on a TV since college, I guess. So like five years. Uh, we had. The dorm just had cable, as a matter of fact. I, I wouldn't have paid extra for it, but it just happened. I think I literally only watched House because uh, the girls in the room next to me watched House. I mean, I, House is okay, but I mean, I wouldn't watch it just to watch it. Um, it's just kind of background noise. I think that's about all I watch, too. I, passive watching stuff just isn't for me. I actually enjoy visual novels a lot more than I watch, enjoy TV. Like, this is just any degree of interactivity, like even just being able to look around or choose what I'm looking at, just makes it infinitely better for me than just TV crap. Anyway, <coughs> that is today's thingy. I guess let's, oops, not load, not load, not load. Okay. And I guess we need to give something to Stella really fast, because I heard the next event comes on um, day 14, so I really hope we, uh, meet Stella soon. So yeah, tune in next time for, you know, creepy Lilim stuff, apparently. I've got a feeling the game isn't out of twists yet, so, uh, interested to see where that's going.